Hey all, today I am going to show you something which is related to SharePoint. Uh, the problem people facing is, let's say, there is a two list which is uh, related to one too many relationship. In <clears throat> one of the uh, list, there is a main item and in the another list, there is a child item related to that. Now the question is, how we can show both the data in a single page without having some uh, coding knowledge or something there is a out of box features also so people said they are using javascript object model or they said they are using some nintex workflow to join all these things uh, so to create one poc i have done uh, i have created two um, list custom list main menu and all items menu so main in the main menu so the concept is i mean in a restaurant uh, there will be a main menu. I mean, whatever the menus are available, they will segregate with some, uh, I mean, main item. So soups, maybe beverage or something like that. And uh, this is the list. And another list is all items. So let's say tomato soup. And there, in this list, I have created one parent menu item. Uh, there is a lookup column. Okay. Let me show you how I have done it. So this is the parent item menu and it is lookup. Lookup of lookup of particular uh, main menu list and the title thing I have done. Okay. You can enforce that uh, cascade delete so that what will happen whenever you are actually deleting the main menu, main item from the main menu, it automatically delete the child item also because the related thing will, I mean, there is no need of keeping all the data okay but it needs uh, i mean uh, from the business aspect whether they need or not okay coming to my point how i have joined it okay so what we will do first of all you need to come with uh, this uh, classic experience thing not the modern browser first thing next you need to go here go here click on the display now here there is a edit page you need to do this go here put one all menu items web. here try to save the page first and exit okay then again come again i am not sure why multiple times it is a crashing the things okay so here i will go i'll edit the web part and i'll change the zone zone will be i mean below of the main item so it will be like this so top will be the main menu and bottom will be the all menu items okay now i will save again and go again if you do step by steps and save and do again it will be very easier or i can say there will be no problem for that okay so there will be one pop-up you need to select get filter values from And then in the first uh, column, what you try to uh, get, I mean, title versus that uh, main menu. Okay. So that's all. If I select this over here. Click on the soup and soup related things only you can see. Right. Close it. If you go here, Indian bread, you can see this Indian bread related things always. Okay, now you can change the the UI or some other things. Uh, UI means let's say I just wanted to edit this item. What it actually going? It actually going in a new page, but you don't want to uh, throw user to a new page so go to the edit page come here so in the edit web part uh, first of all you need to if you want to change something you can change make it no toolbar okay save it exit now go to the all menu items go to the list setting there will be advanced settings 
and there will be launch forms in a dialog to do like this then what will happen right click here now whatever item i will edit it will open in a pop-up so if you change anything save it and we will not redirect to any other new page and come back okay so people will focus on their own work so that's all uh, please let me know if you have anything uh, related to this uh, topic okay thank you